Students at Plymouth Middle School will be doing distance learning today after gunshots were fired inside the building on Monday. It led to a lockdown in this massive police response and some scary moments for students, staff and parents. Well, thankfully here no one was hurt. This morning, the father of the student who allegedly fired that gun is now speaking out. Jenna Rowe is live outside the middle school with his apology. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, Troy Gorham says this was a cry for help from his son, who is a sixth grader inside Plymouth Middle School. He says he doesn't believe he had any intentions of hurting anyone inside the school. I would like to apologize to all the staff, students, and their families for the actions that my son did today. It was a cry for help. He tried to suicide by cop. He was, this was not racially motivated. And I hope we can get him the help that he needs to continue living his life. Gorm says a gun that was inside his bedroom was taken by his son, who then brought it to school. He tells us the boys started firing into the ceiling of a hallway in a suicide attempt, hoping a police officer would fire back at him. That's when the school went into lockdown. The school district and police say the school resource officer and assistant principal were there in seconds to get the gun away from the student. He was taken into custody and now is getting the help he needs. We spoke with a student who was just feet away from the gunshots yesterday and ran to tell that resource officer. I ran. I called everybody I knew, make sure they were okay. Called my mom, told her to come pick me up so I could be safe. All the people in that one hallway, we just like booked it. Everybody left. Some people were running out the um, exit. Some people were going to with the teachers. Yeah, it was just like crazy. Now, as you mentioned, students will be learning from home today after everything that happened here yesterday. The district also has brought in a team of counselors to help students cope with all of this, and they hope to be back in school by Thursday. Reporting live in Plymouth, Jenna Rowe, 5 Eyewitness News. Jenna, thank you. If you or anyone you know needs help, it is available 24 hours, 7 days a week by calling the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. The number is 1-800-273-TALK. Again, that number is... 1-800-273-TALK. We have the number posted for reference on our website, along with a number of other resources. Just head to the Featured on 5 section at KSTP.com.